What's up, Basil Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another Basil Finger Baby. Then there's Sydney. Mm. <laughs> Sydney's been rushing me, y'all. So today we get ready for Sydney's birthday, and she decided not to get braids. Look, it's it's her decision. She knows what she wants. So this is what we're about to do on Sydney. Everyone is not into the natural. It's not for everybody. When you're ready for natural, that's what you do. So Sydney is gonna start. You just follow the instructions on the box. Some of you may know, some of you may not know that I used to be a beautician. Yes, I went to cosmetology school. I uh, got my cosmetology license. I have my own little salon. I had a salon suites. Um, I did that for several years um, license. But for about 15 years, I did it without a license. So I've been doing hair for a gazillion years. That's why my passion is no longer there because I've been doing it since high school. This one is um, a no lie relax up. And um, you know, so we're gonna do her new growth. And after I get all over her new growth, then I'll go over, you know, as much as I can. Hopefully she gets it straight. Because she has about two inches, two and a half inches, maybe three inches of new growth. The plan was for her to get braids. So I didn't want to relax her hair. I wanted to give her hair time to rest. But once I cut her hair in a bob, she fell in love with the bob. So like I said, Natural is not for everybody. It seems like in the in the black world, everybody wants to go natural. That's not what she wants. That's not what she wants. That's not what she wants. And when I do my short hairdo, I also use a relax. I've used Revlon uh, my entire life, so but I wouldn't be using this. I use Revlon, but for her, um, I've been using this. I use the olive oil on her, and it works just fine. So she's about to mix this up. Follow the instructions um, on the box, and then. Um, kind of stuff like but we're just gonna relax her new growth and I'll show you that process here you go Sydney and it's just simple well and like I said I've been doing uh, real hair for years short hair was my specialty back in the day and I, I don't know I had a thing for cutting boys hair and cutting short hair I don't know I just really like that so I, I thought about opening an all girls salon back in the day so I thought of so many different things but I did have a salon suite um, that I shared with um, my friend. So it was a two chair salon and um, we worked together. We're still friends to this day. And I did that in Dallas. So I lived in Dallas for a couple of years. So Sydney's getting everything ready. going to part the hair into four sections and then I'll tackle each section at a time so once you mix this particular relaxer up you gotta mix it up then you um, let it sit for five minutes I usually start on this back corner so I'm not gonna pin this one up because this is where I'll start She doesn't, she doesn't uh, really burn, but I have to work really fast and we should be up just about up without five minutes. So I try to work really fast to get the relaxer all through, at least get it on the hair, not so much on the scalp. And then once it's all over that first time, then I go back in and work it in all over the hair and I rub it in. I don't use a comb method. So I'm gonna pin my hair up so it's just not bothering me.
Now I'm going back to my original section, this one where I started, and I'm going to work the relaxer in. Um, so it's not on her scalp too much. I mean, you're gonna get it on there at some point. So now I have a little bit of relaxer left over. So now I feel a little better. Now I can really go in and start working in it. I work this section first, second, third, and fourth. This is my last section. And so now I'm going back in. I'm really putting this stuff on a scalp. I'm gonna work each each little section in. Um, and I'm gonna rub it in now to her new growth. So I don't use the comb method. She got her hair wet and didn't comb it, so it's really knotted right now. So I use the smoothing with my hand method. I'll smooth each section like that and just smooth it out with my hands. That's how I do it. Other people use a comb to smooth out each section, but I just use my finger and that's what I do. So now I'm starting to work it in, but I wanted to make sure I had enough product to get through every section. And sometimes if I can do this process at least twice, then I know it's a good relaxer. But in most cases, I at least want to get this done, at least get it, this process at least once. But if I can go through the whole head twice like this, that's what I call a successful, successful relaxer. You know, some people is more sensitive than others. Other people may have different techniques and that's fine. There's more than one way to skin a cat, but this is what I, I do. You know what a shampoo is. We'll come back after we shampoo it and have the conditioner in it. Okay, y'all. I shampooed her hair twice. Um, she hadn't combed her hair in ages, so how open it. And now we're about to put the conditioner. Quiet. Uh, that came with the kit in her hair. And how long does this have to be in your hair? And then she'll sit under the dryer for 10 to 15 minutes. We, I have a hooded hair dryer, child. <sighs> Is that, was that hair dryer my mom? No, that one broke. No, this one's not my mom's. Child, that thing would have been like a thousand years old. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Get some moisture back in her hair. 
<laughs> Ooh, smells like oranges. Smells good. Good. I just got conditioner all over her thumb. And she knows how to work the hooded hair dryer. So what I'll do is I'll put a plastic bag, grocery bag on her head. Yes. You know, boozy. Bougie, classy, ratchet, classy, bougie, ratchet, whatever order. You know, we get a little bit of everything up in here. We don't have no little caps. We have grocery store bags. Works just fine, okay? Better believe me. Yeah. So with the no light, you, you're not going to get bone, 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 bone straight. But it's better than it was. And her hair has grown a lot. Yeah, because I remember when I cut her bob. Her bob was kind of like up to here. Right where, you know, the hairline ended. It has far... What's this on me? Oh, my braids. <laughs> so we got our little grocery store bag, okay? That's how you do, honey. Your Walmart bag can serve as many purposes, child. long for her hair to dry then I would really need the um, setting lotion so I just do it down like this and at night she'll wrap it okay Cindy back under the dryer here you go it took your hair to dry so we are back this is the heat protector that we're using so this is what we're gonna use I'm just gonna use a tiny tiny bit Okay. She was under the dryer for about 30 minutes and it didn't really dry. She She's anxious to get, so I'll use the blow dryer and blow dry and then flat iron. But I'll just use a tiny bit and it's just tiny, tiny. Oh, hi, hair. Yeah, it's like a little dime size. You can't see that. It's like a little dime size. significantly in the last three months since her first haircut um someone said it oh no you gave her a trim when i'm cutting off three and four inches of hair that's a haircut <laughs> so um i'm not sure i'll probably just do a baby trim on the sides um, but her hair has grown a lot and I'll try to show a side-by-side -side of her first haircut and so you can see how much her hair has grown and we just looked up the video it was three months and I was like dang your hair so her hair grows and her hair grows a lot and um it's nice and healthy the sides still need to catch up a little but this is a lot of hair y'all Mm -mm. Who want to be working with that in the natural? Not me. She better learn how to do it herself. But she's not ready. All right. So I'm just gonna flat iron, and it, so flat iron it will be a little easier now because now I'm not working with all that new growth. Uh, we saw a little bit extra new growth. It was more new growth than I thought. So when she gets her next relaxa in about five months, maybe I'm just gonna pull it all the way through. You know. So I'm not gonna do a full virgin, but I'm gonna pull it through a little, a little more. So there we go. And 
once again, we're going to be using the Deval um, iron on her. I probably won't use the highest temperature like I did the first time because I was straightening a lot of new growth. And I'll try to put the link in the description box uh, for the Duval. So this is the iron and I talked about this in a previous video. Got a nice shine to it. Hold your head up. So I'm finished with the back. Now I'm about to start on her side. And I did keep it at uh, the highest temperature. So now I'm about to start her side. So we are done. We're gonna give her a little trim, not much, not much at all. Just gonna trim off the edges, trim the front. Some of you don't. My sister was 11 years older than me. So she was like a mom. And so she would always do this to my cheeks. Stop, Sydney. No. Stop. That's what my sister used to do. Let me show them. 
She used to just do my she used to do my cheeks that she did her kids. That's how she used to do all cheeks. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> oh, my God.